es importante hacer estudios de volcanes en el Perú porque actualmente tenemos siete volcanes activos, de los cuales dos están en erupción actualmente. We are on Sabancaya Volcano in Peru. The moment at about 5,000 meters elevation, and we are installing our acoustic infrasound sensors. Volcanoes, like many other natural phenomena, produce acoustic waves in a frequency band that humans cannot hear, but specific microphones, well calibrated microphones, can hear the sound of a volcano exploding. The reason why we picked Sabancaya is because it's a volcano that has constant activity, so it produces a few explosions every day. Access is relatively safe, even though it's not free of challenges, and it provides a good laboratory volcano, essentially. The team here includes myself. My expertise is in volcano seismology and acoustic infrasound. We have a volcanologist, Sarah Henton. She's a petrologist. And we have Alejandro Diaz Moreno. He's a postdoc working with us at the University of Liverpool. And his expertise is in seismology and acoustic infrasound. The local volcano observatory helped us a lot in organizing the field trip. Two members of the staff are coming with us every day, assisting us and showing us the way to the sites where we want to install station. Today with us is Roger Machaca. Okay, entonces termino y vuelvo. And he's been with us every day. He's helped us in selecting the correct sites and he's helped us selecting sites that were safe for the team as well. When you visit places like Sabancaya, you really understand how important the volcanoes are in the communities of the people that live here. But not only have the uh, volcanoes of this region shaped the way people live here and shaped the cultures here, but they also continue to threaten those people and those cultures and those ways of life. And that's one of the reasons that we're up here, trying to find better ways of monitoring these volcanoes, trying to find ways to keep people safe and also to help work with the local counterparts here in Peru to help them improve the monitoring capabilities that they have. Esta semana ha sido muy productiva porque logramos en pocos días instalar cerca de ocho estaciones de infrasonido y estamos muy felices porque tenemos explosiones, que es lo más importante en esta campaña. The stations we are installing are quite easy to install. We only need the sensor, the data logger, and a small battery. And all of them are put inside a plastic box to protect it from rain and the weather conditions. We are installing microbarometers for registering volcano infrasound, which is basically recording atmospheric pressure, but the sensibility is so low that we are able to detect small changes in the atmospheric pressure related to the eruptions. And as a final product, to be able to infer the potential altitude of the ash plume. In this experiment, we're leaving the equipment deployed for around four to five days, which should be enough to record at least 50 to 70 explosions. We can download the data in the field, but usually we prefer to look at the data back at the hotel where better weather conditions are possible. For me, the biggest challenge on this trip, logistically speaking, has been the altitude. Our highest field station here at Sabancaya is at 5,400 meters. And at altitudes like that, even simple things are very difficult. Just walking a few steps or staying hydrated becomes a real challenge. The actual travel around Sabancaya over the last few days has been really quite exciting. We've forded rivers that didn't look like they should be forded and gone up hills where it certainly felt like the truck was on a bit of a tipping angle. 
These are fairly extreme landscapes and we have fairly extreme vehicles and fairly extreme drivers who are able to cope with them. The eruptions we've seen have been pretty spectacular and we were in the wonderful position of being just a couple of kilometres from the active vent when some of these eruptions happened and we really got a unique view of what a volcanic eruption can look like. For me, this expedition has probably been one of the best of my life. The natural environment around us is absolutely stunning, it's incredible. As you drive around this landscape, you can see vicunas, llamas, alpacas. I truly enjoyed this. I'm very grateful for the privilege that I have in doing this job.